What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you five best masking effects in Final Cut Pro 10 for free. No plugins are required. It's really easy. You want to find a area where you want the uh, subject to have zombie eyes. So I'm going to go around here and I'm going to press M again. So this just adds a marker. So I'm going to press B for the blade tool and I'm going to split those like that so I have one single clip now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the masks of course it's a masking tutorial so what I'm gonna do first is hold option and drag upwards to make a copy and I'm gonna go to the draw mask and drag that on top of the new video what you want to do is select the new video which is this one go to the draw mask and we're gonna zoom in to about 200% so I'm gonna select the inside of his eye don't select the eyelids just because that will look a little bit too fake so I'm gonna select the inner part right here and you can click and drag to make it a little bit more of a smooth curve and I'm gonna click roughly there and I'm gonna click and drag to create a soft point I'm gonna click and drag again that looks pretty good so I'm gonna click and you can adjust these again if in case you made a mistake so if we disable the bottom clip and we enable this one you're gonna see that there is an eye right here which means it's working so that looks good and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the spiral image I'm gonna drag that below the mask and we're gonna click on invert mask so I'm gonna go back to 150%. I'm gonna go up a little bit and we're gonna go into transform. Okay, and we're gonna scale. We're gonna scale this down quite a bit and we're gonna drag this with the little wheel and we're just gonna drag this centerpiece around there and we can increase the scale of this to maybe here like that. Perfect, so once you're there, we're gonna select the top one which is the actual mask and we're gonna create a nice soft feather. So we're going to feather this a little bit inwards and click back on the draw mask and we're gonna click and drag this to make it like that so once you are there all you have to do now is go back to fit go to control points add a keyframe to the beginning as well and transform add one there in position this is probably the most important there and we're gonna have to zoom in again to 150 here and we're just gonna go frame by frame so press right on the arrow key and just move this back in place with just like that and all you're doing is going one frame over using the left and right arrow keys. So right again, we're gonna drag this to the left. I'm sorry, I'm pressing right on the arrow key, but I'm just moving the actual mask to the left, if that makes sense. So keep doing that, just make sure that, um, you know, his eye is relatively like that. And don't worry about the background image, we'll adjust that later. Perfect, so now if we go back, you're gonna see that it's all keyframed. The background image hasn't been keyframed either so what we're going to do is we're going to select the spiral image we're going to go into the transform we're going to add a keyframe and just press right on the arrow key and we're going to click on the transform tool and just make sure that this is centered on his eye again try not to add too many points um, you can reduce the amount of points if you want to make it a little smoother however you want to be really exact with these points because, um, I mean, it will look the most realistic, of course. And perfect. So now if I go back and go to fit and I push play, you now have this mask here that looks really cool. And again, it's going to shake a little bit and you can, of course, decrease the amount of points. All you're going to do now is just repeat the same process for the other eye. So we can, um, all we're going to do is just group this and we can name this uh, left eye. Well, this would be considered the right eye. And then you just do the same thing. So you make another copy, hold option, drag upwards and then except for the right eye here, in this case his left, we're just gonna do the same thing and create a mask on the right eye. So you would add another mask, go back to masks, go to draw mask, add that one onto the new clip, and you just do the same thing. You make another uh, selection, click and drag, and there we go. So now it's keyframe, so we can go back to fit, click done, and we're gonna group these again. So we're gonna create a new compound and we're gonna name this uh, left eye, press enter. Okay, so now we have this one and this one. And you're gonna notice that you can only see one or the other. In order to fix that, we can easily um, select one of the clips and we're gonna go into, again, mask. And we're gonna go into, yeah, let's go with shape mask. And we're gonna drag this onto the left eye. So now we can see both. We're just gonna make this nice and round. We're gonna increase the curvature and adjust this so it's covering just as either eye doesn't really matter. Um, in this case, we're just gonna be focusing on the left eye. So we're gonna go back to 100%. And 
it's very simple. You just go into the transforms and we're going to go into position, add a keyframe. And all you're doing is you're just making sure that the mask is over his left eye. And we're just make, doing this. Doesn't matter. It can be really sloppy with this one. Cool. So now we can go back to fit. And if we go back and push play, you now have a really quick and easy zombie mask uh, or zombie eyes mask effect. It's really easy. And this one is from the actual original video, which is this one from YNJ American Dream. Links will be in the description. Moving on to the second mask effect. All right, guys, so the next best mask effect is going to be the simple zoom in uh, kind of transition effect. It's really simple to do, no plugins. Let me show you how it's done. So what you want is to have a video in the timeline. I've already done that. You want to mark an area where you want the effect to pretty much begin. So I'm gonna zoom in. I've already added my markers by pressing M on the keyboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just press Command B to split the video right there. And uh, I also want to uh, kind of stop here. So this is the original video and we're going to be doing just that. So assuming that this is just like a normal video, no effects have been applied. What you're going to do is you're going to go right here and this is the, the frame that you're going to create in a freeze frame. So you're going to go to edit. We're going to go into add a freeze frame and this will just create a still image. As you can see, there's, it's just like a normal uh, image. And once you're here, we're going to extend this to however long you want the effect to last. So we're going to drag this all the way here. And then the next effect, um, not the next effect, but the next video is, uh, is going to be here. This is where I want the next video to begin. So once you're here, we're going to go into the effects, go to masks and go to draw mask and just drag a mask on here. Now, before you do that, um, make sure that you have um, the original clip here beside it. So add the draw mask on top of the freeze frame and we're going to drag the second clip here below it. So I'm going to start, have it start around there and then I'm going to go unselect the top clip. We're going to go into draw mask and we're going to zoom in just like the previous uh, effect. And we're going to go ahead and kind of select the, uh, this little circle here. So we're going to click and drag. If you're, if you're working with like, you know, easier shapes, you can easily just use a shape mask and that will be a lot easier. Um, but for the sake of this video, I want you guys to learn how to use a mask. So just click and drag to so click and drag again, click and drag. And you can of course adjust these and then you're going to click and you're going to right click and go to smooth. And then this will allow you to create um, some more handles. So I'm going to drag this like that and we're going to go back to fit and then we're going to go into invert mask. So now you're going to see that it's just a solid black um, uh, circle and then you're going to see the video below it. So if I push play, it's going to look like this. So I want to move this all the way to the beginning and what I want to do is leave this there and we're going to create a very simple zoom in effect on the actual mask. So we're going to go into transform. We're going to go into scale and we're going to add a keyframe. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another keyframe to position. So you have two keyframes in the beginning here on the actual mask. I zoomed out to 25% and now I'm going to go all the way to the end, but go one frame to the left. So you can see what you're doing. We're going to zoom in and scale this all the way up. And we're not going to move this. So we're going to move this. Now you should see a line. So we're going to do something like this, but we're not done. So we're going to go one frame to the left and we're just going to scale this all the way up. And again, you have to move this back. Make sure it's centered. Scale this up all the way again until you can't see any of the edges and you can also enable the transparency grid. And if you have the latest version, you should have this button. If not, no worries, but this just makes the job a lot easier. So you can see where the actual mask is. And now I can go back and adjust this accordingly. So maybe here, like this one, we can move it back here and now it's going to go like that. Perfect. So now if I go back to fit and I push play, you have that kind of smooth, um, effect there. Let's go on to the third one. Alright guys, so the third mask effect is going to be the uh, TV mask effect and it's like a zoom in effect. It's, it's kind of like this, the last one, or not the last one, but the previous one. Okay, so we're going to split it to, well, around here. And so what we're going to do is hold option and drag uh, upwards, go into the effects, go to masks, go to draw mask and drag that onto the top clip. Then what you want to do is go back to the beginning, skim through where the actual TV starts to move, which is here. We're going to zoom in to about 150%, maybe even more actually to 200. So we can see those edges right here. So we're going to click there and we're going to pan over and click on the inside of this. 
We're gonna go down and select this piece here. We're gonna go over and we're gonna click on, I believe if I go up and then we're gonna go up again and then we're gonna finish off with the first point. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna go back to fit. And then once you've made your selection of the actual television, so we're gonna click on invert mask so that now if we disable the bottom clip, we're only working with the actual TV, which is this one. Again, ignore the actual you know movement of this. So once you're there, what we're gonna do is I've disabled this one here for now. And what we're gonna do is just uh, create a uh, keyframe next to control points as well as in transform at a position there. We're gonna go every two frames, so one, two. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna increase the scale of this. So we're just gonna make this bigger like Actually, before we do that, we're gonna add a key for next to scale as well under transforms and then go two frames over and then you want to scale this up accordingly to roughly there and do that again. So one, two, and we're gonna scale this up like that. And you want to, of course, move these so that they're exactly where they need to be. And once you're at this point, you can now just fill the whole frame, making sure that it goes edge to edge. Sweet, so now once you're there, we can go back and skim through and see what we've done. It looks really good. And it is a little time consuming, but once you get the effect down, it looks really cool. Now, once you have done that, we're gonna re-enable the bottom clip. We're gonna drag the next clip that you want to use. In this case, I'm gonna delete that one and use this one so you guys can see what I'm doing. And the effect will really start here. So we're gonna trim the beginning piece so that it starts right there. Now that we've done that, we're gonna zoom in quite a bit to 200%, and you're gonna notice that the edges are too crisp, and a TV, you know, our eyes, we can't see perfect edges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, so we're gonna select it, and we're gonna go into the mask itself, and we're gonna create a very, very subtle inward feather to about negative six. So if I click off of this, you're gonna see that it creates a nice feather. Now you can drag it outwards if you want, but I'm gonna drag it in a little bit to maybe negative five. This is so it makes it look a lot more realistic. So once you're there, what you're going to do is select the bottom clip and I'm gonna go here and press B to cut to trim that. So working with one clip, reduce the scale. So go back to transform. We're gonna go to 50% and we're gonna make this smaller just to kind of start this off. Don't change the rotation. Um, you can if you want, but Personally, I'm gonna leave it like that because you can't really tell it's rotated. That, And we're gonna create a keyframe next to scale all. Then we're gonna go again every two frames. So one, two, and we're gonna scale this up just barely slow, so like that. So one, two, we're just scaling it up ever so slightly. And once it's here, we're just gonna make this like full screen like that. And now if I click done and I go back, and if I fill the frame back to fit and push play, you now have the simple and very easy mask TV effect. We're gonna go with the fourth mask effect. Let's go on. Right, so the fourth easy mask effect is going to be the freeze frame transition mask effect. It's a weird one, but it's a really popular one that I've been seeing a lot. So in this case, I wanted to start here. So uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go frame by frame. So this frame, I want to create a freeze frame. So I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna go into add a freeze frame or option F, and now we're gonna have a still image, as you can see. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to go into the effects, go to masks, go to draw mask, and drag it onto the image. Then once you're here, you wanna zoom in to about 100%, and we're gonna go and click on the draw mask. I'm gonna go a little bit more to about 150%, and you want to make a nice selection of, you know, of the artist, of the subject. There and here, and it's gonna finish off. I'm gonna go to fit. And now we've made the selection. If I click off, you're gonna see what it looks like. It's a perfect selection actually, except this hair. The hair is always difficult to do, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So once you're there, what you wanna do is click and drag to the left, and it's gonna look like this. And what you wanna do is the end, you wanna trim that so that it begins in the beginning of the next clip. So it's gonna look something like this. I push play, and it's gonna kinda of keep going. Now, this looks a little boring, so what we can do is we can spice it up a little bit. I'm going to first move him out of the frame, and I'm gonna do that using the X and Y values. So I'm gonna click and drag using the X uh, axis. And you can see with the transparency grid, you can see where he is in the, in the grid itself. If you don't have it, it's totally fine. 
but if you do, just enable it. The playhead is at the beginning, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into position, add a keyframe, and push play. And right about here, I want it to zoom in back, so just press zero, it has to be zero. Because if it's off, it's not gonna transition very smoothly to the next clip. So press zero and press enter. And now if I push play, it's gonna look like that. And then it's gonna go like that. Now I'm gonna trim the end piece here about there and then go back, push play here. It's gonna look just like that. Now it looks still looks a little boring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the effects. We're gonna go into blur and we're gonna create a directional blur. So we're gonna click and drag it onto this one here. And now what we're gonna do is it creates a nice blur. As you can see, we can increase the amount. You can see it looks just like that. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, and I'm gonna add a keyframe next to that on the beginning frame. I'm gonna go about here once it stops. And then once it's about here, maybe exactly there, we're gonna type in zero. So now if I go back and push play, you have more of a, of a blur that looks more realistic, as you can see. Push play, and there you go. It's that simple. Move it on to the last one. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss. So the last and final, um, you know, best mask effect. So if I push play, it's gonna look like this, and then it kind of creates this really nice pan, and it's kind of like a transition as well. So so these three are the clips that we're gonna be using, okay? What you wanna do is make your, your, your cuts, and I've already done that. Each scene has a different cut here. So we're gonna drag this one right above this one here, the first clip. We're gonna drag the third clip and drag that one right above as well, okay? It's gonna look something like that. Now, once you are there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a mask, a draw mask. So go to masks and draw mask and drag that onto the second clip here. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to select the subject, whatever it is in this case. So it doesn't really matter. When you're making your point, make sure you start as from the outside and hold shift to make it a straight line. And I'm gonna hold shift again and shift one more time. And it doesn't have to be perfect on the outside. Just make sure that the inside the inside lines are exactly perfect. So if I push play, it's gonna go like this. Of course, you wanna time this with the music, so I'm gonna push play. It's gonna go like that. And once it's about here, I'm going to maybe, let's see, push play. Yeah, right there is where I want the next one to appear. So in this case, we're gonna do the same thing. So go to effects, masks, draw mask, and drag that onto the third clip. We're now gonna select the other subjects, so hold shift and click and hold shift and click, and then we can finish this one off. Click in between these two points to kind of uh, adjust the length of where you want the subject to be. So here is good. Now that we have this set, it's gonna look like this, but we have to move this over. So we're gonna shift this to the right. So go into the transform, go into position, and go to the x-axis. And we're gonna drag this all the way to the right, maybe in thirds. So I'm gonna drag this one a little bit more to the left. It's gonna go like this, bang, bang, and then now I want it to transition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe at the very beginning of the last clip, the third clip, which is this one. We're gonna actually skin through first. So at this point, this is where I want it to now begin kind of panning over. So that's where we actually add our points. So under transforms, add a keyframe next to position, and then you're gonna add another keyframe under transform and position, and then we're also going to add another keyframe in control points. Now that you have that done, we're gonna go to the very end, go one frame to the left, and then at this point now, what we're gonna do is go back to transform. Under X, we're gonna type in zero. And then under position, we're also gonna type in zero. And then the mask, we're just gonna drag this all the way out on those lines. So now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna go back to the very beginning. So I push play, it looks like that. And this part is a little weird. I'm not sure why it does that. I guess we can move this, this one over so at the beginning, we're gonna go into transform, just shift this all the way to right there. And perfect, that looks good. So now if I push play, it looks just like that. Super clean and nice and smooth. So if I go back to fit, it looks just like this. So that's the last one. It's really simple and easy. It can spice up your video clip really quick. But um, yeah, so if you found any of these effects awesome or just helpful in any way, please leave that like and be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this one. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.